good to see you and talk to you. I'm such a big fan. Thank you, man. Yeah, cheers. Thanks uh, for me. Be All Right sounds so good on 96.5. Congrats on all success. Thank you, man. Like, yeah, I totally didn't expect this to happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, uh, coming from Australia, this is sort of an impossibility almost to be traveling around America with a song on radio. It's so rare. Yeah. So I feel, I feel very lucky. Yeah, you get the big performance tonight at the Foundry. Yeah. Uh, which is a great spot. And so you're saying how you didn't know you're going to be here, which is funny because you posted something on Twitter a few days ago. Yeah. And it's very inspiring. Pretty much, it was a photo of you uh, doing open mic. Yeah, yeah. Four years ago. Yeah, yeah. I remember doing yeah the open mic night and the hands sort of shaking and you know you sort of playing in front of people that don't really want yeah, to they're, listen. They're on their phone. They're on their phone. They're, they're drinking. Talking. Yeah, like, they're, they're talking. They're like, who are you go away? And so you know. Going from that to yeah, selling our shows over here, it's it's super special for me. It's yeah. insane. Yeah. So is that what you always wanted? You wanted the success, or are you just happy to get your your thoughts out? Like your you know, it's kind of like yeah. therapy for you because your music's very personal. Yeah. But you, you you saw yourself doing this though. You wanted this. Um, I. It's a tough question. I guess I. I always just I loved doing it because I really enjoyed writing songs. Yeah. I didn't really think of fame or success or like want to be big. But when I started really thinking about it, wanting to do it properly. I always wanted it to be successful and I wanted people to hear and I wanted people to come to the shows and all that stuff. So. Right. Um, but it was never the goal. The goal wasn't just to be successful. It was to write really good stuff. Right. You know what I mean? So. And I feel like, because Be All Right is so, there's so much passion in that song. It's so heartfelt. And I always think yeah. to myself, like, the better the song, the more heartfelt the song, the, like, how tough was that breakup? Like, breakup must have yeah. been, must have been rough. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, like, that was, yeah. damn. Yeah, well, that was a weird one because it was actually about it's about a few different relationships. Okay. Right, it's about like what, something that happened to me. I was ask you that, yeah. Yeah, and a few things that happened like some friends and family, like crazy stories they told me. Mm -hmm. And um, so I sort of combined a bunch of things into into that song. Do you gotcha. Know what I mean? um, but the chorus is actually about my brother telling me, like, you'll be all right. You know, put your phone Oh, it's your brother? Okay. Your older brother, yeah. It was kind really? of like after this thing happened. So it's kind of like a mix of me me telling a story and then kind of narrating what my brother said. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. And you were at like a bar setting. That's in no, my it was mind. His house. Picture, it was oh, it's his house. house. It's his house. Because yeah. like when you when you listen to a song, at least for me, you kind of like put yourself in that scenario. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. What you're going through. I was like, that's totally true. The best way to get over uh, a breakup is alcohol. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Have gotta, a drink. Gotta drink. Yeah, yeah. Gotta drink it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like your friends. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Or, or in this case, your brother. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the song's a bit about like you know surrounding yourself with good people to help you through that stuff. Like it's a sad song, but there's also, there's also a lot of hope in it. There is a lot of hope, is, you know, which is kind of like a cool mix, I guess. So, um, yeah, definitely. Because you have people around you as like your support system. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is important. Um, so yeah, and that's a big message from the song. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. I think. And, <laughs> and uh, do your former you know past loves? Do they know that they're like the muse of uh, of these well, songs? I mean, we like, talked about it with them. I mean. This song's about like a few different people, some that I don't even know, because like there's a cigarette on the counter thing where I talk about, which mm -hmm. is the thing that happened to my friend. I never met that girl, <laughs> but the story remains. So I'm not too sure, um, but yeah, I guess like I don't know. You, you, I, I always write from personal experiences. You know, yeah. it's got to be real to me and sort of, um, yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and have you always written songs like all throughout like your childhood, uh, high school? Yeah, or yeah. Oh, I, I got into it pretty late, but I mean, I, I, maybe when I was 18, I picked up the guitar and I was like. I just was like, um, like my dad got us lessons when we were like young, me and my brothers. But it wasn't until like I was 18 where I was like, I want to do this. You know, I want to yeah. write songs. And then I just did it in my room for years, not thinking it was that good. Mm -hmm. And then I think a lot of uh, songwriters are like that. You know, you don't think it's great or whatever. And right. then um, eventually one thing led to another and it's all started to happen. So, yeah. It's amazing that like a tool for you, kind of like just putting your thoughts on paper, yeah. maybe like free, free therapy yeah. has now turned into... You here totally. in the states and selling out shows. And yeah, yeah, it's 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 a good thing when your passion and your obsession is something that's worthwhile. So I guess and and you can you can um like you know I used to love gaming, mm -hmm. um but back then it was like there was no streaming. Like do you know what right. I mean? So like there was no I was like well, there's no follow through with this. Like I could be the best in the game and I would like get the highest rank. <laughs> but with music you can reach people. You can like you can <laughs> yeah. get better at it and right. there's like a. There's a like a career in it, you know? right? There's no end game to Call of Duty, but now there is. But now, now there is. Now, yeah, there's, now, now there's, you do like tournaments and stuff like that, yeah, yeah, like cash prizes. Totally, like the album. Like that's what I should be doing. But, Are you um, rethinking your career? Man, I, I, I peaked. I peaked my <laughs> training. I should have. I should have kept doing that. But uh, yeah, it's really worthwhile, and I'm loving it. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, and uh, by listening to Be All Right on 96.5, which we absolutely love here at the radio station, our listeners love it. It kind of opened the door uh, for you to check out some of your other music. Yes. Yeah. Seven minutes. Yeah, yeah. Waves. Yeah. Uh, chemical. Like you are brilliant. It's, thank you. I'm, I'm a, such a big fan. Man, thank you so much. Yeah, it's um, it's cool to see that people are connecting with more than be alright. I guess like waves is like a, 
a big song in Australia, mm. kind of before BRR was released. So a lot mm. of people in America don't really know about it and stuff like that. So um, I feel like I've got so many songs and I'm excited because um, I because I there's so much more to come and the album's out in like two weeks and there's so many more songs on that and I, I can't wait to get. I was going to ask you about that because yeah. you kind of did the thing on uh, your Instagram story. Where you're like, if you don't pre-order the album, the album's oh, not yeah, coming yeah, out. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I'm just an idiot on my Instagram. <laughs> That's hilarious. So yeah, my, I just basically post the dumbest things, and um, <laughs> yeah, and I was just doing this joke now where I'm like, if you guys don't pre-order, I'm not gonna release it. Not release it. 20, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2021. That's when you're. Yeah, 2021. Album, <laughs> some people think I'm serious. Like, so you gotta be careful. Like, some people. Yeah. So, but most people know that yeah. I'm joking. You can't joke around in uh, in 2019. I know. That's, I know. You can't make no joke. jokes allowed. Yeah. Comedy is dead. Yeah, exactly. But my, but my, I'm just so dumb, and like my Instagram is so stupid that like I just do the dumbest things and. I think my fans love it. Yeah. Most of them love it. So, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So, are are you nervous about this release? Are you excited? What's what's going on? Yeah. you know, mentally of an artist with your album coming out in two weeks. Well, I'm excited because you know I had so much time. Like, I you know I had be right for four years before I released it. I had the next like three singles or whatever. I we I have I've had those. You know, mm -hmm. and um, there wasn't this pressure of like you you know I released be right and the label's like we need the next song. Like I ha I have the song. At least we think we do. Right. Um, so I can keep writing without that pressure of like, I need the next one because I've got the next few. Gotcha. So, um, yeah, I feel quite good about it. I can play the album to a friend and, and there's, you know, there's nothing, I, I don't have to say anything. I can just push play and go like, have a listen. So, right. Which is nice. Yeah. And do you feel, what is that, what is that, what is that feeling like? That the super uber personal yeah. uh, side of you is being yeah. released. Is that... Uh, do you feel vulnerable? Do you feel... Yeah, well, sometimes you, it's like you, there's some lyrics in there where you kind of cringe a little bit because you're like, oh, that's really... Should I really be saying that? But I don't know. I just think it's real to me and um, I'm proud of it. And I also don't think of it too much. I just go, does it sound good? Do I love it? I'll just put it out. And then and then if, if you're okay with it, yeah. it's like, okay, well... Then it's okay, then whatever happens. And, and people can interpret it yeah. how they want to. Yeah, and you sort of trust your gut a little bit more as, you know, with Be Right doing so well, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I trusted myself with that one. So I should trust myself with this and that, you know. It's right, and also you know that your listeners and your fans uh, are going to attach themselves to your lyrics and help them get through situations. Heart, Absolutely. You know, heartbreak and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, who can't, you know, feel the words that you're saying and be all right in yeah, yeah. seven minutes? And, like, people people know that. They've been through it. Uh, absolutely. I think, um, oh, whoops. That's, that's all right. Just, someone, <laughs> someone just lends you your DMs. Off, turn that off. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> Facebook, unfortunately. Oh, gotcha. Oh, no. But, yeah, no, like, I think, you know, um, when I write a song, it's quite selfish. It's like I'm writing it because I'm like, I'm like, it's got to it comes from something that, that I've done or sure. said or been in a relationship. Or, so, the the afterwards, people connecting with the songs and attaching their meaning to it is like something that I never think of when I'm doing it, but is one of the best things that right. comes from it. Do you know what I mean? So, um, I love that, and that's like the the added bonus is when you release a song is when people kind of go, oh, like I I relate to this in this way, and then. But it's not the reason I do it. Do you know what I mean? It's right. more of a selfish it's thing. Like this added bonus, added that, bonus. that comes along I, with it. Yeah, yeah. Because think if you're thinking, how do I make people feel something? It'd be, it, yeah, I think it would come across a bit weird. Do you know right. what I mean? So you got It's got to be. It's got to come from. Within. And and way that you do it, it's authentic because it's yeah. stuff that you went through. Absolutely. Yeah. I think, and I'm really conscious of that. I try to make sure that I, I keep doing that. Right. Yeah. And that brings us uh, tonight playing in Philadelphia. Is this your first time in Philly? Um. Yeah. I actually opened for a guy called Noah Khan. Um, like three months ago here. And oh, it's really you know? cool to, to come back and sell out yeah. my own show. Like I'm really Where really where'd happy. you play last time? Before? Um I actually can't remember the venue name. Yeah. Because we were like the supports. We just kinda of rock in. Right. And we just sort of Do your and, thing and out. Do our yeah. thing and then we'd you know go and like it was um great tour, but no, I actually can't remember the name. Okay. Yeah. Well tonight you're at a great spot, uh, the Foundry. Awesome. Which is a, a relatively new spot in yeah. Philadelphia. Correct. And you know, at least for me, you know if place is good if like the bathrooms are really nice. Oh right. I don't know right. why. The bathrooms are nice. The bathrooms are nice. Awesome. And, like I don't know, like I think I'm gonna like this place. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's and, a good and point. And it's a great venue. Like the bathroom lighting's good. Yeah. That's oh. like you know what I mean? Like without when, a doubt, you dude, know what you're in for. Yeah, and, and you know, I could release for a much better gig when everyone's looking good. Yeah, you know I mean, if you walk in, you look. Because if they feel good, then then you feel good. Exactly. Everyone's happy. Everyone's in a good mood. If you have bad lighting in the bathroom, it's like it's the worst gig. Tweet ever. me once you go to the bath. That sounds weird. Yeah. When you're in the bathroom, <laughs> just talk to me. Let, yeah, yeah, let yeah. me know how you feel. About yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I, I actually don't have tickets for tonight. Will you go? We'll catch you on the list. 100%. Jim, put me on the list. Jim's. Yeah, yeah. Can I get tickets? Hundred percent. Yeah. I would love to go to the yeah, show. Yeah, hundred percent. No worries. Are you gonna play stuff off the new album? Yeah, that but, no one's uh, heard before? the new album or the old stuff. It's like a bit, a bit of mix of both. So, um, we'll catch you on the list. Hundred percent. Dude, I'm so excited. Bennett, no worries. And if you want to, like, you know, shout me out on stage, whatever, no, whatever we'll you want to do, I like, probably, yeah, yeah, probably yeah, yeah, give yeah. you a look at my yeah, fiance. Yeah. You know, probably be a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you coming by. Uh, Philadelphia loves you and. Uh, 96.5, always a home for you. Thank you for the support, Ben. I appreciate it. Thank you so it. much, Thank Dean. You, Appreciate Thank it. You. Yeah, Cheers. for sure.